Hey everybody, guess who's back? I know, I know, I know, I'm so sorry. The last time I actually made a video was nine months ago. So it was about in January. I'm sorry, but life has been so, so hectic. I mean, really, really hectic with work, um, getting things done for school, family, friends, church. It's been a really, really really, really challenging nine months, and um, the school just started again, and work, working full-time and going to school full-time, it's still going to be a lot of challenges, so hopefully I'll be able to keep up on the videos, but I did miss you guys, I did miss making my videos, I did miss the feedback, the negative and the positive comments, but I'm back, so um, Hopefully we can continue. Um, even though I've been gone for so long, I have still been keeping up, um, being updated with current affairs with Haiti and everything that affects Haiti that has never changed. Um, I have always stayed on top of my game when it comes to information regarding Haiti, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so, what some of the things that um, that has happened since I've been gone has actually been a lot, like it's been a lot of things happening since um, the last time I made a video, so I'll try to um, touch on some of those ones as much as I can, what I can remember. So of course, by now, everybody knows um, Haiti's president is now crazy down Michel Matéli, and I must say, I must commend him. He has cleaned up really, really well. I mean, I thought that Wyclef did a good job cleaning up, but President Martelly is, he did an excellent job. He is no longer Sweet Mickey. He is no longer the entertainer. I was still expecting, I guess, um, some theatricals from him, some of the dramatics and all of that, that he was just an entertainer, but he, so far, he has done a really, really good job in <laughs> staying away from his entertainment persona, and I'm really, really proud of him. His wife is gorgeous. She's been doing a lot from what I've been seeing and from what I've been keeping up with her. Um, she's been around and she's just been doing a whole lot, and um, the publicity for Haiti, I think it's really good. And I think that this family is a family that we have, we've needed for a long time. And finally they're there, and they look good. They, um, they make you feel proud to say that you're Haitian and that they represent you. Um, I think some of the biggest challenges that Matali is going to face is definitely going to be education. His cabinet, forming his cabinet, and um, not so much tourism, but as much as the economy. Like trying to actually get the economy back. I'm not so much worried about um, the rebuilding and because that's going to take some time, but I think that his biggest challenges will be the economy, his cabinet, and of course education because his platform for the election is really free education for all. And so that's going to be his biggest challenge. And with free education for all, you actually need a really good cabinet, a really good government to do that. And so far, he doesn't have that because he's still trying to get the perfect prime minister. So, you know, that's still up, but I will give him a 6 out of 10 for what he's been doing so far. The little that he has done, I think the past, what everyone has done from 85 to now, and well, to until he took over, I think that he has done a superb job. Um, the publicity is great and, you know, he's a good representation. So that's that. Um, what else happened? Miss Universe. Oh my God. I am so proud to call um, Anna D. Miss Aisi because she has, she has a Haitian accent. Oh my gosh, I love her accent. I absolutely love her accent. I love the fact that she still speaks um, Creole. She speaks English as well as French. So, she, and her personality, I think to me, she has the biggest personality ever. And I felt as if she should have gotten Miss Congeniality, but maybe I'm being biased. But she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, and I hope that she wins tomorrow. And if not, she did a great job. Um, Siraj also did a good job, but right now she talks Siraj for me, so that's there. 
um, Miss Bahamas is also a Haitian heritage in addition to Mr. Contagion. So Haiti is taking over. Um, Haitian track and field, oh my god, if you guys have not been keeping up with Haiti's track and field team, get on the bandwagon right now because they are doing so good. We won, I think, gold at CAC, at the CAC championship. If it wasn't gold, it was bronze. But I really, really think it was gold with Samir Lane. He's on Facebook and so is the official national Haitian track and field team. You have to follow them. You fall in love. Um, they're working really, really hard to um, in preparation for London 2012. So they have my full support. I will be waving my Haitian flag, and I wish them all the best. Um, on a sad note, the United Nations. Now, with the the United Nations is so sad because from the outbreak to the violence to um, the distribution of arms that they're participating in, to the shooter that they had at the airport, to now um, the rape of the 18-year-old young man from Port Salut. The UN is not among my favorites for humans. I wouldn't even call them humanitarian anymore because it seems that there's no one for them to answer to. So, you know, sending a letter of apology to a nation and saying, well, we apologize that our um, forces who are supposed to be protecting you is violating and exploiting you. That doesn't give me much comfort. It doesn't give me any um, form of comfort at all. So they could take that letter of apology and they could do the next best thing with it because, no, it's not acceptable at all. And I think it, it, it's to blame twofold because we as a people are to blame and they are to blame also because First of all, if Haiti was not Haiti, the UN would not be there. So it's because of us, it's because of our, it's because of the division, the unrest, the um, the instability, the violence, which is why the US had to come, the UN had to come in and interfere. Now we may be saying that well, what happens at home shouldn't be anyone else's concern, but we have to realize that we migrate out of everyone in the Caribbean in the Western Hemisphere, we migrate more than anyone else. So, whatever happens to Haiti affects the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, um, of course the U.S., Canada, it affects everybody else. So, of course, these people are going to get together and try to fix the problem. So, you know, we are found this thing because if we was at peace, if we was stable, they would not have the chance to step on the soil. Now, they are to blame because I feel as if no one is taking Haiti seriously, and I feel that the UN doesn't care anymore. It's just another headache for them. It's just, you know, I think they have a very nonchalant attitude. They have a very don't care attitude, a laissez faire attitude when it comes to Haiti and the Haitian people. Now, mind you, there are some really good. Um, officers who are part of the organization, but I think the bad okay the good when it comes to the United Nations at this point. The rape of that young man and they videotaped it. I don't know what to say. I you know, it's it's disheartening and I find it totally, totally disgusting. Now the other thing with that what I didn't like was the fact that the media has been publishing this young man's name and his age and of course where he lives. To me, I think that his identity should have been kept confidential, even if his age was released, but his identity at least should have been kept under wraps because he doesn't need to go through any more suffering than he already has as a victim. And um, so that's kind of like some of the things that I've been having on my assessment. So, um, and I see Miss IEP 2011 here. I hope that you went tomorrow and no matter what I think that she did a really good job. So, cheers to you. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.